Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. Josh Green has been one of the most impactful players this season in the NBA and in Dallas he has grown tremendously this year. So first in talking about his growth and development I want to talk about the confidence that Jason Kidd has instilled in him this year. He's giving him more minutes, he's putting more responsibility on him at both ends of the floor and it's allowing him to flourish truly as a two-way player in this league and be a cornerstone for Dallas for the foreseeable future. But first, let's look at his stats real quick. He's averaging 7 points per game, 2.3 rebounds, 1.2 assists, shooting incredibly efficient from all levels of the floor, while also impacting defensively with nearly a steal per game. But next, we'll look at more advanced stats where you can see that he is truly an impactful player. This can be seen with his on-off numbers. So his on-off differential in general is plus 12.7, which is first for the team. His opponent points per 100 possessions in terms of on-off is negative 11.7. He's a really big plus when he's on the floor, and you can see his efficiency shooting-wise, his ability to force turnovers, and just be a two-way impact guy in Dallas. So now we're going to look at how he impacts in Dallas and how he's grown as a player this season. Everything for Josh Green starts at the defensive end of the floor, so that's what we'll look at first. You can see that he's a highly impactful defender individually. He's able to get up into the ball, be physical, be effective with his hands and feet activity. But to look at some numbers real quick, he's averaging 0.898 point per possession in terms of his time on the defensive end of the floor, which is the 64th percentile, which is very good. He is an elite defender. He's able to guard his position, guard other positions. He's highly switchable. He's connected in the system. He knows his job, understands his role. And this is what's been able to give him minutes throughout his career. And now this year, he's showing that he is elite. He's guarding the best of the best on a nightly basis from Jamal Murray to Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum in this clip against Boston here. You can see in other clips, Fred Van Fleet. You can see OG Ananobi. He is guarding a plethora of stars stars and he's being highly effective in doing so. It all starts with his ability to be physical at the point of attack. He makes his presence felt. He gets up into the ball and he switch ball onto size with that physicality. And then in terms of his activity, his hands and feet are highly active. He's ready to react. He tips passes, forces turnovers if a lot of time. And then off the ball, he's communicative. He's connected. He understands his role within the system and that allows him to switch, understand his positioning and make plays off of the ball. But on the ball is where he's great. He's just doing his job at a high level, being solid, not reaching, keeping his hands out, his feet active, being physical, all the things we talked about so far. But you can see he does this regardless of the matchup, whether it's a guard, whether it's a big. He just understands the assignment, goes out there on a nightly basis, and does the job at the highest level possible. This is why he gets minutes, and this is why Jason Kidd has instilled confidence in him to go out there and make plays for the Dallas Mavericks in a winning fashion. Now let's go to the offensive end of the floor to see where he has really grown this season. The growth at the offensive end of the floor is what has allowed him to really go out there and be a high impact guy in Dallas, but to see how he's grown, we got to go to last season first. Last season, he averaged under five points per game with less minutes and less field goal attempts. And a major piece of that being his jump shot. So last year, his jump shot in terms of mechanics, you can see that it's a little funky. The distribution of power, his feet are a little off, the flow of his shot going upward. There's just not a consistent base allowing him to be effective and his release point, he has a little chicken wing going on with his jump shot, making it not as efficient from the ground up. But you can also see that teams started disregarding his jump shot in general. He started being guarded by the opposing team's five man. He looked unconfident in his shot. He wasn't hunting that. He only scored 100 points off jump shots last year, shooting 35% from the arc, 56.3% effective field goal percentage, and 68.9 from the line. His jump shot growth has been massive in this year's success. Now let's get to this season. In terms of his jump shot, he's shooting nearly 45% from beyond the arc, taking more threes than ever before. 44% of his field goal attempts are from beyond the arc, 36% of them are corner threes, and in terms of his technicality of his shot, you can see his feet are a lot more even. He has a better flow from the ground up. That power transfer is making it so much more efficient and his elbow is a little bit more tucked in. And at the end of the day, he's a lot more confident with this jumper. Confidence and shot readiness 
that Josh Green has played with this year has been huge in him being so successful and being that plus guy. Especially with his jump shot, he's always shot ready, he's always available and always ready to put one up. Playing alongside a guy like Luka, you need to be able to do that. In all these clips you can see he's down early, he's ready, he's willing to step into that and he gets great elevation. The improvements of his jump shot allow him to be so efficient in his elevation on the catch and then he's hunting his shot. You can see right there against Golden State, he ball faked to give himself space and he's a smart decision maker with the ball in his hands. He'll kick it out, space out for himself and get his feet down in a spot to knock it down. His ability to just be this confident shot hunter now makes him so much more of a weapon offensively. And this improvement in his jumper is allowing him to explore new levels to his game in terms of attacking closeouts and being an elite rim finisher. You saw at the beginning of the video, he's shooting from a high clip at the rim. His ability to finish is being elevated due to his ability and improvements with his jump shot. He's able to get downhill, finish with finesse and strength. He has a variety of finishes to go through. It's particularly with his right hand, but his ability to finish with touch and also be physical on the drives, bump off guys, finish strong with two hands at the rim. It just makes him such a weapon offensively and a guy that can truly play alongside Luka for the long haul. Josh Green has been one of the most impactful players in the association this year and it has shown with his confidence at both ends of the floor, guarding some of the most elite offensively talented players in basketball and going to the other end of the floor and being an ultimate spacer and attacker off of Luka. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Josh Green and his improvements. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.